is Meghan Markle going to war with Princess Catherine's family over her new brand? Sure seems that way to me. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness. Yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we? Because, yes, it was released uh, last week that Megzi was going into, as well, the pet food market with American Riviera Orchard and could sell birdseed, edible treats. Uh, So, yeah, this is what new trademark documents are revealing. Uh, Also listed uh, are bath soaps, curtains, yoga blankets. Uh, We've also got ketchup, incense burners, flower pots, pet food, and recipe books, right? Now, this is the thing, right? What's also been lodged uh, with the US Patent and Trademark Office is also the company's logo uh, featuring the letters of ARO written in flowery gold script above the word Montecito, uh, where Megzi and Hazza currently live with their children, right? Uh, But it's also revealing in those documents that, yes, pet food, edible pet treats, and birdseed, she also wants to look at selling them. Now... Here's the issue. Here's the problem. Uh, Princess Catherine's brother uh, sells that kind of stuff on, in his own company, which we're going to look at in a minute. So, yeah, it means that he and Megzi are going to be rivals in the pet food industry. Yeah. Is Megzi going to war with Princess Catherine's family, her brother, over her new brand? Like I said... It sure looks that way to me. Now, Princess Catherine's brother, he owns a company called Hello Ella, and it sells raw and cold-pressed dog food as well as air-dried treats. Uh, The company is named after his therapy spaniel, Ella, who sadly passed away last year. Now, you've got uh, this exclusive from The Mirror saying that, look, Megzi needs to be sensitive about a brand launch uh, amidst the situation with Princess Catherine at the moment uh, and the cancer treatment that she's going through. But, yeah, launching a brand where you're going to be in direct competition with Princess Catherine's brother... That ain't too sensitive to me, that is for sure. Now, PR guru Lynn Carrot has said to the Mirror quote, as Megan is no longer part of the monarchy, she's free to launch a brand wherever she likes. True. However, given Kate's ongoing cancer treatments, it would be wise for Megan to be sensitive to the timing of a brand launch, considering the public support for Kate worldwide. Not just the timing of the launch, but what she's wanting a trademark as well. Again, Being in direct competition with Princess Catherine's brother, yeah, I don't think that's sensitive to me. That is for certain. Uh, She also adds, it might be best for Megzi to work quietly on a brand behind the scenes for now and launch it publicly sometime in the summer when we've received some good news about Kate and King Charles's health. Well, I'm hearing that the reason why we're not hearing much about American Riviera Orchard is because the whole thing's been rushed to be released. She hasn't even got a CEO yet or anything in place for this to actually be operational for her. That's what I'm hearing on the grapevine. Anywho, she then concludes saying, in the meantime, Megan should keep a low profile and show support for her in-laws publicly. This way, Megan can continue working hard on a brand without creating any negative impact towards the royal family. Or... Princess Catherine's family, the Middletons, and her brother, who literally has a website, a company that sells dog food, animal treats. And you know what? Screw Megzi, right? I'm going to be promoting here Hello Ella, all right? You want your dog treats? You go to Hello Ella if you want the high-grade, high-end stuff, right? Uh, And so this is the website, ella.co. And, yeah, here's the message from James Middleton uh, explaining, a few years back, my dogs helped me uh, pull me... Sorry, let me go again when I can get my teeth back in me gob. 
A few years back, my dogs helped pull me out of a really difficult battle with depression. When I reached the other side, I set out on a mission to make their lives just as happy and as healthy as they've made mine, starting with the food they eat. I've pulled together a team of industry experts and nutritionists. Together, we developed a range of food that contains all the ingredients and nutrition for dogs to live a long and happy life, but without any hassle. Developing James and Ella has been a true labor of love, and I'm so thrilled to share this journey with a community of like-minded, loving pet parents. Welcome to the pack. I love how he says it at the end. Welcome to the pack. Let me put it this way to you guys. When I get a dog in the future, and it will happen, best believe, I'm going to James and Ella here. I'm going to James and Ella and getting all the treats and all the dog food from James and Ella. I mean, when I had dogs in the past, I always got them the best stuff anyway. Um, so this is some high grade stuff, right? I'm definitely not going to get dog food or dog treats from Megzy, that's for sure. Uh, but... Here, um, you've got uh, James' story tells us all a story of how pets bring us so many health benefits, social and physical, and he has worked tirelessly to raise the profile of this issue. Now, this was the PIF Awards back in 2021 saying this about the James and Ella company. But this is a multi-award winning company, guys. Um, and so for the GWG Awards 2021, he won Small Business of the Year in 2022. Um, and then for the pet... Uh, Federation Awards winner. Uh, he won the Pet Professional of the Year 2021. And he was a finalist uh, for the same awards for the Online Business of the Year back in 2021. So, yeah, guys, this is a multi-award winning company that Princess Catherine's brother, James Middleton, actually owns. Now, I liked this bit from the website. This is really, really cute. Meet the pack, right? Uh, so you've got Ella the Matriarch, uh, 2008 to 2023. Uh, you've got Zulu, director of cuddles. I'm sorry. You Seriously, this website, this company is QAF, right? Uh, describing Zulu as a big softy at heart, happiest when it's family movie night, and he's managed to score the best seat in the house. Whether he's teaching N Nala how to wag a tail so fast it spins her around or how to pose for photos, he's a fantastic daddy and we're so lucky to have him in our lives. I'm kind of like tearing up right now because I, I I love dogs, guys. I'm, I'm team dog all the way. Uh, you've got Luna, check this. Chief Happiness Officer. I mean, come on, guys. Uh, Luna, the calmest of the Spaniels and sister to Inca. Uh, she's had a first letter during lockdown. Fantastic new mum. She loves swimming and running. And her favourite place in the world is on the beach. I tell you something, that's one of my favourite places on the in the world. That's on the beach. Luna and I have something in common there. Inca, head of mischief. Oh, come on. It gets cuter, guys. Uh, Self-titled head of squirrel police. Oh, uh, life ambition is to make sure all squirrels stay in the trees. Uh, the naughtiest, full of character, and most likely one to steal your lunch. I'm sorry, spirit animal right there. Uh, Mabel, belly rubs procurement lead. Oh, the cuteness. Uh, so you can't help but laugh. Uh, a puppy-like behavior, cheeky smile, strange noises, and her love for water. Oh, uh, and then you've got Nala, cuddling coordinator. I'm loving the alliteration there. Daughter of Zulu, granddaughter of Ella. She has the cheeky jeans. Coy, playful, can't stand the cold. Uh, can be found cuddling with the pack members or cozy in front of the fire. And then you've got Isla, the fetching intern, six months old. Oh, the cuteness. Daughter to Mabel, uh, Isla, the newest member of the pack, clever, willful puppy. She's learning her way in the world, and I'm so proud of her progress so far. So that's the pack. That's there for James and Ella, the company. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when it comes to the actual ingredients, all of this is really, really high grade. And so he created this company because, as it says here, the problem was that uh, James, when he was researching dogs' kibble, uh, he was horrified to learn um, how little fresh ingredients were actually used uh, in the products that were out there uh, and that the heating process eliminates flavour and nutritional value um, and that commercial dry dog food 
uh, cuts all the corners of a natural and healthy diet that could have actually a detrimental effect on his dogs. So determined to feed his dogs the best possible, uh, he researched healthier diets uh, through raw feeding. He immediately noticed the benefits in his dogs, uh, but realized how messy and time consuming raw feeding can actually be um, and how much space it takes in the fridge, this kind of food. So what he did in terms of the solution was get a team of industry experts and nutritionists and, yeah, developed an innovative range of freeze-dried raw and cold-pressed foods, uh, just as nutritionally good as the raw deal, but, as he says, without any hassle. And so when you look at the shop here, yeah, I mean, 100% raw, grass-fed beef, free-run chicken uh, for puppies, free-run turkey, Free run chicken, grass fed beef, cold pressed food. You've got ocean fish, free run chicken. All of this, 100% natural uh, as well, looking at this. And oh my goodness, you've got chicken and game, freeze dry treats that are 100% human grade meat. Uh, you've got air dry treats here that again are all 100% natural. You've got chicken, game, turkey and cranberry, maybe for Christmas, guys. Uh, and fish. I mean, when you look at just one of them, with the freeze-dried treats here that's human grade, guys, for as little as three pound, you could treat your dog to some high grade <laughs> Ella and uh, James and Ella food. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. Human grade chicken, suitable for adult dogs and puppies from eight weeks. Like, this is absolutely amazing. So you know what, guys? Screw Megs's American Riviera Orchard when it comes to the dog food and the dog treats that she wants to potentially sell this, that, and the other. Because you know what? My money is going to Princess Catherine's brother, uh, James and Ella, uh, at ella.co for all the dog treats and dog food that I will need in the future once I do get a dog. Because that is totally happening. But this is the problem, right? With Megzi lodging a trademark application to be able to sell dog treats and dog food, yeah, she will then be in direct competition with Princess Catherine's brother and his company. And when you've got a PR expert turning around and saying, do you know what, just be sensitive right now, Megzi, with your lodge, because with everything going on with Princess Catherine, it's not looking good on you. Yeah, her making an application to um, sell dog food and dog treats and whatnot when Princess Catherine's brother does exactly the same thing. That ain't sensitive at all. And as far as I'm concerned, is Megzi going to war with Princess Catherine's brother over a new brand? Sure seems that way to me. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Altenair tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there and hopefully cause a Christopher Boozy meltdown on Twitter. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some Wow, very strong opinions when I can gulp that down about what we've just discussed, and I bet you do. Then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, guys, laters.